Welcome everyone to another video here in our channel and in this video we are going to take a look and see how I made these road systems. So I've had a lot of requests for some reason to do a video on the road system and this is what I'm using here. I'm using Gaia, the procedural worlds. You don't have to use Gaia obviously, you can just use normal unity terrain and I am using a uh, asset and the asset is called easy roads this one right here you can get the easy roads asset straight from the asset store there's a free version and yeah this is how the game looks with these assets Okay, so let's take a look at how uh, you can build this. So obviously to create roads, you're going to need a some kind of ter a terrain. And that is exactly what I have in here. And, and if you choose to use the easy roads, the way you create the roads is by clicking this road system and adding a new object. So after you add a new object, you don't need to do anything in here. So you can just put this to the side. You can hold shift, make sure you have gizmos on. You can hold shift and start creating your roads network just like this. So the video that I wanted to make ends here. You can obviously stick around for a little bit longer. And this is basically what the roads will look like after, you, after we finish building the terrain. So to build the terrain, we are going to come into build settings, build terrain. This is going to take a little bit of time. And then we are done. So as we can see in here, we have a brand new road system. So after you're done building your road, you're going to take your brand new Audi R8, or should I say imaginary R8, bring it somewhere close to your scene. Maybe you want to change the color of your car a little bit. I'll leave it super, super white. So it burns my eyes, because that's how I like it. And you can play your game. And the game will work just fine. So for now, we made the roads a little bit too short. So we obviously want a little bit wider roads. But that is obviously a preference thing. So that's how you make it. And if you're wondering how this car is being controlled, well, I have my old controller in here attached to the input manager and the wheels manager so this all this does is it animates the wheels corresponding to the wheel colliders and that is it 